Uh, blessed evening to all of you who are here and also those fellow worshipers in other parts of the world joining us through the wor uh, worship through this live stream. One of the great mysteries of uh, life and relationship with God is this the uh, experience of God's calling and we uh, realize how profound and mysterious God's ways that beyond our uh, expectations human expectations God calls those whom he likes to call and it's so difficult to explain. In our own experiences of being called, now I personally, or probably our my own uh, conferers here, <clears throat> the experience of being called is indeed an experience of uh, profound mercy of God. The mystery of God's calling, and especially as we look at the experiences of calling in the Bible, like in th the case of the saint we s whose feast we celebrate today, Saint Matthew, a tax collector, considered as one of the worst sinners in the society, in the Jewish society at that time because they were considered as collaborators of the occupying forces. They collaborated in, uh, in collecting taxes which of course made miserable the life of their countrymen and women. But God called him this so-called worse of sinners to be his disciple. And another thing that we notice in this, uh, in the calling of these disciples, like Matthew, that God, Jesus, for example, we see how this person move from in uh, the journey of conversion but we notice that the good things the good characteristics the giftedness of that person is maintained just like uh, Matthew a good tax collector and he will be considered precisely as one of the uh, a great scribe, a collector of the stories of Jesus, of his, uh, of what he he taught, and arranged them in a an orderly manner. What we have now, the Gospel of Matthew, no. one of the uh, most systematic collection of the stories of Jesus. Probably because he was a good collector, he collected also these stories, diverse stories about Jesus and formed them into a beautiful story of uh, Jesus and his teachings. So his giftedness um, as a professional was not erased when he was called by Jesus. And this is also true in our calling as Christians. That when God has called us to participate in his mission, that he counts uh, our giftedness. And it is so marvelous to see, for example, the giftedness of Christians being placed at the service of the mission of the church 
No? I do not know if you have uh, read that many of the, like for example, the, the science of genetics, the great, uh, was the, uh, the one who discovered this was a, a Catholic priest, no, for example. And many other things about uh, science, no, knowledge, no, at the service of humanity. In other words, God, when He calls us, He calls us so that we may grow and may we use our giftedness at the service of the kingdom, the, His kingdom. And uh, we see how uh, Matthew, for example, emerges the, his concern, his, his point of view in collecting this, for example, the uh, the orderly presentation of his uh, gospel in forms of discourses now about the parables of the kingdom about the sermon of the mount on the mount about the beatitudes the joy of the gospel the joy of being forgiven the joy of being called and many others Dear friends, as we uh, celebrate the uh, feast of St. Matthew, we are reminded again of our giftedness. Do not tell me, do not tell God that you do not have anything to, con to contribute for the glory of God because that would be an insult to his creativity and generosity. Each one has received certainly gifts that can be used at the service of his kingdom the gift of of words for example for teachers the gift of uh, kindness the gift of motherhood of fatherhood the gift of our own professions and many other things now can be placed at the service of God. May Saint Matthew help us and intercede for us that we may come to a greater appreciation of our giftedness and use these for the greater glory of God's name. Amen.